It's recording. <laughs> Hello, PlasTube. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. And welcome to the farm. Crazy farm. Crazy farm. It is Monday. 7th. January 7th. 2019. 20, 2019! Yeah. 2019 can go jump off a cliff so far. I hope your 2019 is starting off higher than mine is. It's 6.38 p.m. And it is, what, nearly 50 degrees outside, they just said, on the weather? For 24 hours. And then, yeah. This 24 tomorrow, hours now, it's going to be 30. This time tomorrow, it'll be 30 and possibly snowing. Welcome to Ohio, folks. Welcome to Ohio. It's okay. We love it here. Maybe if you say it enough, you'll believe it. I love it here. The weather drives me nuts only because it's, like, wonky. You know, at least we don't live on the other side of Cleveland, Ohio. True story. Because then you know what you're going to get. Every time there's anything involving 32 degrees of moisture, you're getting a foot of snow. True yeah. story. And, um, and by comparison, last week... I was talking with a school age teacher at work. And she's like, break seems, school break seems awful short this year. Because the kids went back on Thursday. Um, she's like, school break seems awful short this year. And I said, well, it was short last year. It got extended because of snow days. Because it was like negative four. And that was the real temperature. That wasn't the feels like temperature. The feels like temperature you don't want to know. Mm -hmm. The uh, January after we bought this house. By the way, the, my Facebook the screen is really reflecting on our glasses pretty good in the video. That's okay. When we get done with um, reading, I know. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, by comparison, the January we moved... Uh, um, so we moved into this house in February of 2011. January of 2012. That's when the pipe burst, by the way. Or the pipe broke down in the basement. Okay. Yeah. By comparison, by, by real comparison, this time, 2012, so that would have been however many years ago. Somebody else do math. I don't math. <laughs> um, 12, that would have been It was the ago. real, the feels like temperature was negative 40 when I went to work in the morning. Oh, that was the time when Alaska was, it would have been moving to get warmer. So, By a lot. Um, climate change is not a lie. Moving along. Because I really don't want politics. Not talking about. So. Politics suck. Yeah, um, that's all I'm going to say. We actually had quite a few chit chats um, on last week's video. Uh, Lynn. Miguel. I, we know her. She was at the retreat in Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. She's from Alabama. So, um, she wanted to know if we're going to the National Retreat in the summer. Yes, we are. Yeah, we'll that's going to be a trip. We're getting an Airbnb. Um, let's see. You she's... might sort of see me. Like, you'll see me, but don't expect me to see you. I might fall asleep the first day I get there. Considering that's going to be... It's an eight-hour drive from here to Nashville. Two weeks after another seven-hour drive. So I'm and I don't fly. I don't fly. Well, you don't have feathers. Of course you don't fly. Don't put me on an airplane. I'll put you on an airplane. Um, Just not going to take it off the ground. Well... <laughs> If I um, bust it and buy this, anyways. Um, <laughs> so Lynn is also Lynn also said she's only doing ten projects for Mania because it's the first time her do she's doing it. Guess what, Lynn? This will be my first Mania too. I thought, well, I'll start, you know, a bunch of different things for the end of the year because there was a bunch of different things that I wanted to get going. I can't do thirty one starts. People who do thirty one starts are nuts. I love you all, but you're nuts. She collects moose items, so she loved the kit Andrea got me. I love the kit Andrea got me. And I love my Andrea. <laughs> I love my Andrea. She loved your tree. And said it was great to see it done. 
She loved all of my progress, and she can't wait to see us in Nashville. She's like me. She, 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 um, like, as the video goes, she'll add comments. I don't, she, she, she will add them. I'm weird. I wait until the end. Like, I watch them on my laptop mo most of the time. So I'll just type a comment as the video's going along, and then, but when you do it on your phone, you can't really do that, so. Amber Marie said she loves your tree. And that we would be sorely disappointed in her stash. Even if I continue to acquire stitching and knitting stuff, I only have enough stuff to knit for about a year and a half and enough stuff to stitch for about three to five years. So, real talk. See that? Right there. That's my fabric supply. I have enough floss to tie up a mummy. I've got enough charts for several years. I'm, I'm, I hate thin. to break it to you, dear. You have enough floss to tie up a killer whale mummy. Mm -hmm. Fabric is thin, Amber. Marie, fabric is thin. And Lou, Cinda, why did I just have a trouble pronouncing your name? Did I bring everything up again? Lou Cinda said... Um, Goldfish was her clown name, which stands for the glory of the Lord delivers us faithfully into the Savior's hands. I like that. I don't like clowns, though. <laughs> I don't do clowns. I'm sorry. You're a nice person. I don't like clowns. Um, I don't like clowns. We, uh, I know someone who... Her children are seven now, eight, I think, seven or eight. Um, she was the person that got us into foster parenting. Her first husband, who tra tragically passed away with pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer about five years ago, um, they were registered clowns. And um, I, I, like, I know them. They are beautiful. They're like, well, obviously, Anthony has passed, but beautiful people. Please don't ever wear your clown makeup around me. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I don't, I don't do clowns. So if I did a bunch of clown stitches and put them all over the house, you'd actually hate cross stitch for once? Yep. Because I'd put googly eyes so they'd follow you? Don't do it. I can just get an animatronic one that follows you around all the um, because it's on a Roomba. She loves all of our projects. And she says she has... Four lifetimes or less. She doesn't have a huge stash. I'm telling you, that's the fabric. Now I'm telling you, that's the fabric, but guess what? I decided to do. At like... I don't know. At like noon, Tuesday, New Year's Day, I decided I'm doing the Stitch from Stash. Um, if you don't know what Stitch from Stash is... It's the group on Facebook... I don't know, is this the rolls or is this the finishing grid? That's the finishing grid. I think I'm a dork. I think I'm nuts. I don't think I'm going to end up in the black. But what the hey, we'll try it. Now, the um, of course, the advantage I have with doing such from stash is all of the pretty fabrics, I, you know, I'm not buying them from Hand Dyed by Stephanie, Silk Weavers, Under the Sea, I produce them myself, so I pay my cost, so... Considering the fact that the fabric for uh, my Dragons of Sumatra was two months almost? My... The fabric alone? Yeah, because... So you can set up your budget. You have a monthly budget. You can set it from zero to 25 bucks. I, of course, took a $25 budget. Because, like I said, I don't have a lot of fabrics that'll cover me for things. Um... Honey? I love you. I go bull. Bull what? If you, maybe 25, four. If you are less than $600 spent, $300 is your budget. By the end of the year, I'd be surprised. I will be too. Now, caveat to that is every finish. You get credit for I have it printed out because it's going into my stitching binder. 
Oh wait, so there's a, so basically if you do a bunch of little things you can actually uh, get enough credit to pay for a big thing? Yeah. And um, the way Stephanie has it worked out, anything over 100 by 100 stitches, you get a little bit more for because it takes a little bit more motivation to finish something that big. Um, I have to do, so there's a little bit of math involved and if you're really interested in it, I will link the group below. Go to the group and check it out and sign up for it there. I'm oh, just... Lynn also was commenting on our crazy weather last week. Well, guess what, Lynn? It's crazy this week. So, we're going to do that. We're gonna Sorry, do that. I'm looking up something real quick because I want to be annoyed. There, there's a little bit of math involved in it. So, so the, that went up to what? 200 by 200? Mm-hmm. So she probably have a heart attack with my 300 by 216. So 200 plus stitches you need to contact. Like, so I think, so the grid that we got is, it stops at 200 by 200. Anything above that, um, uh, Stephanie has it worked out how, how you get credit for it. Um, and if there's a bunch of specialty stitches and beading and all of that, like a mirabilia, you'd get a little or bit. Or like mine that's completely full. Full coverage has a little bit different credits. So th there's a there's a grid. It's all worked out on the group. Like I said, if you're interested, go check out the group and see what's going on. We'll see how I do. I I'm sorry, but I'm not going to stitch from stash for a very simple reason. I don't have a stash. I steal hers. He does. So when I start a project, I usually go and just buy the stuff and whatever I have extra, I give to her. I wonder if I bought a stitch that had the same fabric, the same thread that you wanted. I just happened to buy an extra couple skeins. Would that be cheating? No. Now, anything that you get as a gift, like gifts are... Don't count as purchases if you get birthday money, Christmas money, gift certificates, and you make purchases. Those don't count. What? Um, do I have to, like, gift you $500 for Nashville? No. I'm going to see where I get with that. Um, if you sell something through Stash on Load, that counts as a credit. So... Again, it's all explained in the Facebook group, and I will explain it to you. I'll and I'll forget a minute for that. You tell me. He will. So. Because I'm not doing it. Because, well, I, I control my stitching by I stitch what I need, and I do one. I'm actually going to be doing two projects at once, the big one and little ones, because I need a break from the big one. And it's actually got my bug lit up this weekend. It was he got his bug going, man. Tell you. All right. Well, while we're talking about your stitchy bug, I put this paper on backwards, so you know I'm gonna fix it because my OCD is telling me to. We're gonna talk about our whips and finishes. Right. Starting with Mr. Joe's. Well, I spent the majority of the week because here's what happened. I made a New Year's resolution. See what happened was. I actually made a New Year's resolution. This is the first time in five years that I would spend at least an hour or so every night stitching with her. Which turned into like two or three hours a night or when we had holidays worse. Most of what I stitched I can't show you because it's a gift, but I got all of the cross stitching and now I'm on the back stitching on it. And pattern just fell over the floor. Technical difficulty, you can do that back. Please hold! <laughs> hold, please. Biscuit. <laughs> this is real life, people. <clears throat> I love my bag. I need to make him an accessory bag. Um, I'm willing Whose to... idea was that? It was his idea. If we put the, um... Pattern sheets in this, would that help? In one of these, would that help? 
No, I should have said, do you have an extra one? Oh, I have an extra, I do have an extra bag. It's in my drawer. Oh yeah, I have from Ink Circles, Dragons of Sumatra. Ooh. That still isn't helping. Oh, it's the glare from the phone itself. Oh. Check it to Sumatra. I got a little bit of work done. I actually scared her a little. Then did you hear the cat falling in the background? <laughs> I looked at her and I said, I'm going to get to the bottom of this darn dish, whether it kills somebody or not. And I did it. Yeah, that's the that's the bottom. That's how much finishing space I have. Actually, I already told you what I wanted to do, and that's plenty of finishing space for the idea, isn't it? I sure hope so. I might have miscounted by about ten or twenty ten stitches from the top. Whoops! A little border checking there. Hey, I won! Hey, look, this works. You want a border check? Peekaboo! Hold up. Yeah. Can you move over a little bit so I can show people? <laughs> That's what's fun. I finally got the whole thing and I decided I'm going to go to the bottom and just start going down. Going across. Jump when I get to the end of this, I'm going to scroll back over to here, do this, and then I'm going to do down the center. Down the other side. And pray as borders match. <laughs> and... I'm going to be, basically, <laughs> my idea for this is I'm going to pretend I'm in kindergarten. I'm going to do the outline first. So I have a reference point throughout the whole thing. And actually, it's very easy. I mean, okay, I got from here to here, and it matches. Perfectly aligned. He has no idea. <laughs> well, the okay, I can cheat and actually do the line. Actually, I might do the line that's right here. That goes over to here. It's just a straight line. I'll give me a nice, beautiful reference point for the rest of it. I so I do have it match. No. We pray. Well, because it's a pattern, yeah, I can just, instead of like this, I could go, okay, it's one, two, three, it's four of these. It's easily fudgeable. One, two, three, four of these. It's easily fudgeable if it doesn't match. There are oh, certain... it is going to match. You have to buy another damn piece of fabric and another batch of goddamn thread. I swear it'd be perfect. You heard me. Okay then. Well then. It is not nice to mess in the affairs of dragons, for you are crunchy and good with ketchup. Okay. So. Kind of what this channel's about. Moving along. So those are his whips. And. Now we move into what I have. So I've gone like hyper organized this year. Like hyper this organized. Year? Now with my stitching. I hope this lasts because this isn't the first time she's printed off a bunch of pieces of paper and had them go to waste. I think the last time T killed it and you just said frack it. Yeah. I don't know if it was T or Pop, but something got tea. on it. It was T. I actually remembered something once. Take my T downstairs. I have my package of tea up here that I need to make some tea from. So anyways, so I have my master stitching list. It's all color coded. I have a yearly stitch tracker. And then I'm doing monthly. And everything's all color coded and I can remember what the fabrics are because I can write it down. This makes me happy. Okay. This makes the rainforest cry. Rainforest, all the paper. Paper, paper, paper. You are going to have enough paper to put a hole in the floor. We recycle. And I buy recycled paper. No, I'm just talking. No, well, actually, no, you're not the 90 with a one time lady. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle G, if you watch this. I don't know if Michelle watches my channel. I know she's subscribed. But, um, I don't know if she ever gets around to watching our videos. But, um,. I was watching her video and I took a picture of my... If you follow me on social media, you will see that for Jessie Marie Dustup's Whip Parade, 
did it before and after, did it for Michelle's, and I did it for the Addicted Sisters. Um, but anyways, he saw the picture of the after with Michelle's Whip Parade 90 whips, and he goes, what's the 90? And I'm like, whips? He's like, is she insane? And I told her that. Her response was, totally. What's really funny is, out of context, it really makes her sound either crazy or kinky. I don't know if I told her that. I might have. But anyway. Watch this video, lady. Then don't okay. come find me, please. I want to live. <laughs> so, new year, new start. I did. Do you have, I need the cover page over there and that ring of floss. I started... Thank you. So, hashtag new year, new start. I started Ride Forth Singing by Lindy Stitches. So, I worked on this on New Year's Day and the day after. So, Tuesday and Wednesday. It is done on uh, Pink Champagne by Silk Weavers. Is this a 14 count? I wrote down 14 count. I don't think it's 14 count. I'm going to have to check. So this is where I've got. Can you see the words? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's counting the threads. The holes. 16. I thought it was 16 count. I'm looking at it going, that ain't 14 count. So I stitched on this on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I counted my stitches. Joe thinks I'm nuts for counting my stitches. So. No, 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 no. That's just one of the many reasons why I think she's totally bonkers. So, 521 stitches on New Year's Day, 355 stitches the day after. I had to work on Wednesday, so. That is where I've got. I'm doing my own thread conversion. It is. Almost all Victorian motto, except for a Threadworks color. The letters, which I have stitched. Under what's in your hands now. That's where the tablet was. The letters, we could, I couldn't find the tablet. I didn't know where the tablet was, so I just read stuff off. It was under this. So, the letters are in Victorian motto's Fairy Dust. Um, you know, I can give you my thread conversion. But to be honest, if I were you, I'd read it. I read it up as a chart and just pop, copy all, paste it in the comments. Um, from the you could get them again if you wanted to. It's all from the Bewitched box and the monthlies, so I'll give them to you. That way, if you have them, if you want them. I remember what's really funny about this is that for some reason I have the color give a crud about of. Well, actually, I don't have one, period. But for some reason, I keep helping you with thread color selections. And all of my needle minders are on this one. All of my needle minders are from Gina's Unique Boutique. And I just put some of my favorite needle minders on this because it's my favorite stitch. You want to how you know it's your favorite stitch? Yeah. What color is it? It's pink. Okay. It doesn't have a bag yet, but it will. Is that what we're waiting on with the bag lady? No. Are it's you making one? Oh, yes. Can I, I have went, fun? I went shopping in my um, fabric stash and I found some fabrics that... And I found one fabric that I'm definitely going to use for that. Okay, so then it was back to... Tiny Modernist Santa House... For Thursday, Friday? You missed Wednesday. Wednesday was Ride Forth Singing. Oh. Um, so, Tiny Miner Santa House. Yes, this was Thursday, Friday. Well, I stitched on it Monday, too. New Year's Eve. So, my goal was to complete the roof section. So, Thursday, Friday. So, Friday night for the Off the Grid Party. I finished the roof section. So now Santa's house has a roof. What? Raise the roof, roof, roof. Santa's house has a roof. Now that I'm done with my bad jokes. 
a lot. It wasn't too bad to stitch either. You can't really... The smoke... Oh, you can see it in this lighting. So the smoke coming out of the chimneys is... It's charted in DMCs. I've done it pretty much in DMCs. Um, the smoke I did in um, Weeks Dye Works by Lightning. And the snow I've done, the white snow I've done in um, a blend of DMC white and ice blue from Victorian Motto. And most of Friday stitching was back stitching that beastie boy. 838 stitches of back stitching. All of Friday was back stitching. 838 stitches of back stitching. Yes, sirree, kids! And it lives in my Slovak farm project bag. Upside downy. It's upside down. I actually think it looks good that way, though. And it is on. What is it on? It is on a 16 count. 16 count? Not 16 count. It might be 14 count. I think that's 14 count. I think I put those two down backwards. Uh, Mountain Rose by Silk Weavers. I think I put that down backwards. Both pink. So, Friday night, I switched projects. Hon, you have great accidental timing. What? I moved up forward because I realized I was leaning too far back, and as soon as I leaned up forward, there was a piece of face, paper covering my face. Like, perfect timing. Like, go back when you edit this and watch that. You couldn't have had better timing. And it was hysterical. Okay. <laughs> so There's Friday... the smiles. <laughs> so Friday night we switched project. I switched projects. And I will insert the... Dice roll. Tutorial. <laughs> Here. And what we're doing. Well, first of all, Lara made me this. Isn't she talented? This is my dice bag. I play Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, and other tabletop games. So we're going to use a D6. Six-sided die. She has three projects. So you use a D6 for three is you, ro you roll... And round, and uh, divide by two, and round up. So if you roll five... By the way, I'm standing behind the camera giving him this look like, what the H are you talking basically, about? Basically, five divided by two is two and a half, rounded up is three. That's so one and two are one, three and four are two, five and six are three. Okay. Do you actually want to move the camera or stop it and then so I, that way people don't get a headache? We can just move the camera. What, uh, so I technically have five Flossmas projects. I'm not doing any more ornaments. And if we follow his rule, Santa House cannot be repeated because I just finished the back stitching on Santa House. That was only if you did it twice, not once. So... You said no repeats. So that's where we're going. So that's why okay. we only have three choices. Okay, ready? Right in here. All right. What do we get? A one. You know what one is? Not what I want. So, my master list of stitching. The first Christmas project we come to is the nativity. You need to take that dice back out. Four claw. Because Nativity is one that does not have stitching goals on it. So we have to roll for a number of days we're going to stitch on. Unless I just stop stitching on Sunday. Okay, so what die would you like? Four, six, eight? Six. Okay. Should roll two of these just to tick her off. No, it's Nativity. I'm rolling a D4. I don't even know what a D4 looks like. Now you do. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hope I didn't make anybody seasick. Hey, there's a kitty. <laughs> Actually, now that I look at the platform, let's use the red one. 
My desk is kind of messy. Uh, not on my dice. Right? Not on my D4s are easy to read. Uh, well. It's okay. Just roll one and we'll... Okay. And you have to come over to here. Or I'll spin it for you. So what do we roll? A flying cat in the way. <laughs> so these are not easy to keep hold of. We rolled that. Three? Yep. So I work on it for three days. Yep. The way this works is it rolls, and whatever number's on top is the one you roll. So does the last hour of tonight count as a day? Yes. <laughs> can we can we tell Joe has kindness in his heart? <laughs> Joe loves me. Joe knows how oh, Joe want, Joe has to live with her. Okay, well, this has been a lovely <laughs> three and a half minutes to pick my next project. Next time I can roll this. Back to your... That's a D what? 20. That's a D20. All right, so three and a half minutes watching me pick my next project. Back to your regularly scheduled floss tube. He plays D&D. &D. So, um... So I rolled my nativity. So I'm sorry. Put... <laughs> I'm working on that blankety blank 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 and wise man. You know if she keeps stitching this, she's gonna need the whole video just for the blankities. I need to go to confession because I'm cussing the poor wise man. <laughs> kind of fitting though, considering Epiphany was Sunday. And Epiphany is the coming of the wise men to baby Jesus, so I guess it kind of fits. But they are not my friends. We're not friends. We're like frenemies. I want to get this done. I spent $50 on this kit. I want to get it done. But. So I worked on this Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. I didn't do a whole lot of stitching. Honestly, I didn't do a whole lot of stitching on Saturday. My stitching on Saturday was dismal. I did 166 stitches. <coughs> Saturday was a bad day. Saturday was where 2019 started to take it up. Today, it's only gotten worse. Um, but I did some back stitching. And I think that helped. It, it, it is helping. With the well, it looks like a wise man, not a wise blob. Because it doesn't look like a blob. It does give it some definition. And as you can tell from the hat, that's why I had to really frog out the hat when I realized it was wrong. So. So yesterday was my last day stitching on that. And thus concludes the lostness. Now, I put it back in the binder like a dork. This is my list of whips. Everything is up for rotation. So I have to roll a dice. At this point, um, during the rest of the year, I'm just not focusing on Christmas stitching. There's Christmas stitching and I'll hop in there. Um, if you recall from my plans, my plan was if I didn't pull Tis the Season, For my last floss was change. Because yeah, I'm hanging off the screen there. If I didn't pull this the season from my last floss was change, I was gonna stitch on it until I was gonna start stitching on it today and stitch on it until it's done. Well, guess what, people? That's right. It's done. It is done. It says, "Tis season, bait, visdi." It is the closest Slovak translation. I'll get a little closer because it's kind of hard to see in the lighting. It is the closest Slovak translation to "Tis the season to be jolly." We could get. We put it into Google Translate on three different devices, and we got. Three different versions. My dad, who speaks decent Slovak, he says he's not very good, but he is. Um, said that this is probably the closest to their regional dialect. Um, you know, it's like English. 
By the way, the guy who keeps naming animals Slovak names isn't very good at Slovak. It's much like English. You know, here in America. Y'all was a... People in the South say y'all. People in Pittsburgh area say yins. People in the Northeast don't know how to put a G after an I-N. I mean, there's dialects. And then if you go over to England, there's even more dialects. You know, to the English language. Finding a bathroom might get fun. They keep telling you where the loo is and you have no idea what they're talking about. But, <laughs> it is done. My first finish of 2019. Let us just stare at its beauty. It is done on a 16 count. Um, hand dyed by the Slovak farm. Hand dyed by the Slovak farm. Solo? Please don't try to get me to replicate this. I can get close, but it's not going to be exact. Um, I really don't know how I'm finishing this. Can I be smart? Hmm. Rod. Rod. Spacer. Spacer. Hang. Hang. Because I actually think it looks great on the scroll frame. Oh, it does look kind of nice on the scroll frame. This is my 20 inch bars with my 6 inch spacers. I'm not entirely sure how I'm finishing this, to be honest. You want me to finish it? I have ideas. I'll take that as a no. What do you want to do? I just told you. I don't want to do that. Well, that would be a no then. That would be a no. No, I haven't figured out what this is, like, credit-wise on the finishing grid, because i got to do the math. By the way, since you did most of that in the last year, wouldn't that not count? It gets to count because it was finished in 2019. I say it doesn't count. What do y'all think? I know, you're all going to jump with the bandwagon and help her out. Look, Michelle G gets to count her finishes that she started in 2018, because she's not doing any new starts in 2019. I get to count tis the season. Okay, you win. I'm not that stupid of a you on it. Um, so. So that's it for whips and finishes. Stash acquisition. Yes, I am doing Stitch from Stash. No, I will not be buying a bunch of stuff. Um, but the asterisk to that is my Victorian motto does not count against my monthly budget because I was signed up for it well before Stitch from Stash started. My Glitter Village charts do not count because I was signed up to get them all well before Stitch from Stash started. Jack Frost Farm. Little House Needleworks, newest uh, release. I'll try to insert a picture, if I remember. Won't count, or it will count, if I decide to do it. I have to think about that. I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. I have to decide if I really want to do that one. I know what to get you for your birthday. Uh, I didn't do all of the farmhouse Christmas from... no farm. I hear you. But you're not responding. I honestly, I really do. Something just fell off the desk onto me. I honestly really do need to decide if I want to do them all. I don't want to do all of little. So it's done as a companion to the Farmhouse Christmas s series, which was 2018. I don't, I'm not doing all of the Farmhouse Christmas ones, so I may not do all of the Tree Farm ones. I don't know. I have to. I've been thinking about it. I was, because I could have signed up before Stitch from Sash started and gotten them. I just, I'm not really sure about all of them. Moving along. Um, New Year's Eve. Gary, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. Because I don't want to butcher it. Uh, from Sunset Stitchers. He also does Gowron Totes and Bags. Finished. This it is a mirror. It's a mirabilia. 
Who doesn't stitch Mirabilia? This girl. <laughs> Got one I'm going to stitch. Um, it is their, from their limited edition kits, Holiday Fairies. It is New Year's Eve or New Year's Fairy. Miss New Year's Fairy. Um, he posted that he had finished this New Year's Eve and I was like, oh my god, I love it. Where's it from? And he's like, it was a Mirabilia kit. And I'm like, crap on a cracker. I'm not going to be able to find it. Then he messaged me and was like, I posted the chart out for sale. Do you want it? And I was like, yes, please. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. I have a habit of just going, you got something you really want for stitching? Okay, you can get it. Well, I love it because... Hey, you need to stop covering my face. That's rude. Sorry. It's kind of funny. I have a fun little game where I say, yes, honey, you can get that for stitching. And then about, and then the following video, I get to see what I said yes to. True story. This is from 2007. I might call her convert her. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just not entirely sure. I, like, I kind of like the it sass. Literally it literally just showed up today, so I haven't even really got to dive into it and look at it. But it's not very big. The called for fabric is 32 count, and it's 6 inches by 7 and 3 quarter inches stitched over to on 32 count, which is the equivalent to 16. Yeah, so. D pony. So. I like the sass. I like it too. I like it because it's kind of steampunky. Which is why I might color convert her to make her a little more steampunky. Because it's all about the punk. Um, also, today... Also, today in the mail, I got... Not stitchy related, but... Oh. Yes, I ordered this size bag of tea. Often. How long was that last year? Um, this will last me maybe a month. This one, so Sub Rosa, the company I get my tea from, because I know there's a lot of tea drinkers that watch us. <laughs> I did an informal poll on my Facebook page, tea drinkers versus coffee, and tea actually is quite outstanding winner. Um, a lot of the people are like, well, I don't really care. I kind of go either way, I do prefer tea. Sub Rosa which is the company I get my tea from. I will link their website below. They have a Facebook group. You can order specialty teas. No, I'm not going to show you what it's called because it's a gift for somebody. She going to love it. Um, but, and then I'd wanted to order the eight ounce bags of my Earl Grey cream and my honey lemon, but they didn't have them, so I got the two ounce bags. This has, it says a teaspoon and a half is a serving. I double that. <laughs> I like a little bit of a stronger tea, so. You know I've never actually had any of your teas, because you don't share. Well, we don't have to change that for you. And then I got a sampling of cucumber mojito. So I'm kind of curious as what it tastes like. I like mojito, but I'm not really sure about the cucumber. I may have to move stuff onto the desktop. And then I also got, what is this? Raspberry Earl Grey. Raspberry Captain Picard. I love me some Earl Grey. I love me some Captain Picard. <laughs> I love I you. Your face. That was great. I'm like, did she just say that? Did she just say that? Should I be mad or impressed? Stuck in between. <laughs> I love me some Captain Picard. <laughs> Let me have to shave my head. Please, God, no. <laughs> I've seen you with a close clip on your hair. You don't look right. No, you you, you, you can see the speed ramp in my head. <sighs> Do we have to stop the video for you to finish laughing? I come up with stuff like this and it's like, did 
you just say that? And I do it right back to her. <laughs> this is how our married life is. Um, we got part three. I got part three of... Did I get part three? Yeah, I got part three of the medieval mansion cell. Uh, the, the, the tablet which we finally found underneath one of my projects. <laughs> The tablet which we finally found underneath one of my projects is probably dead. So I'm just going to stick a picture here at the end of the stash acquisition clip. <laughs> Thus concludes stash acquisition. I told a joke. He told a joke. We had to wait a couple. We had to wait a bit before we started. We had to wait a couple minutes before we got to announcements and plans. What are I, plans? Oh, those things you do that I never follow. Well, you already told them all your plans. Oh, uh, was this supposed to wait? Yeah, you were supposed to wait. <laughs> announcements. I may have possibly neglected to um, tell you in last week's video. The giveaway for the Cross Stitcher magazine is open until next week. So Monday, January 4th. You have until 12 noon, Monday, January. Eastern. 12 noon, Eastern Standard Time. Trash pickers are out. Trash pickers are out. It's trash night in our area, and you know trash pickers. Um... So you have until 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, Monday, January 14th, to comment on last week's video and answer the question on last week's video. If you would like a chance to be entered into the um, giveaway for the Cross Stitcher Magazine. Because I know sometimes people get behind. So I want to give you two weeks. And I'm going to make a note on last week's video... Can you Somehow. in the comments just tag last week's video in the in the subject line of the uh, uh, that I can put last week's video in the description box, which I will do. Yeah, I thank you. I couldn't remember. So Rosa Two will be linked in the description box below. I will try to link you you guys know I try to link everything I can. Sometimes I have a dumb bell attack and forget something. If I forget something that you're looking for, holler at me. So, but you need to come in on last week's video. Last week's video. And then, plans, you already shared your plans. Which ones were they again? Um, about stitching on... About wanting to stitch for like an hour every night. Those are New Year's resolution. Not exactly a plan. It was a promise. And now that it's on the internet, I can't get rid of it. True story. But anyways. And then you're going to... Oh, you... Did you mention that you were going to work on Dragons of Sumatras on Sunday? Oh, no. Um, was that... that at is, least as long as I'm working on this project, because it's two-thirds backstitch, the project I'm working on. I hate backstitch. That's why about my Dragons of Sumatra has none. So, every Sunday, I am going to spend on Dragons of Sumatra, one, so I can get some work on it and show you guys something, and two, so that I don't burn the gift to the ground, because I start calling it bleepity bleep bleep. I need to find something to stitch for them for the wedding. I was doing it from us. I was going to make... Never mind, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... So, plans... So now that Tis the Season is done, every month, at least once a month, Design Works, Life's Moments, because my mother doesn't watch my floss tube. I don't even know if my mother has, knows I have floss tube. She knows. I don't know that she knows how to work YouTube. She does. She finds this and sees it, that's okay! <laughs> I really don't care. Um, my plan is to work on this at least once a month. Unless it comes up in a roll for whipping my whip rotation. So, February, March, April, May, possibly.
possibly June. Possibly July. July at the latest. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to have this done by July at the latest. I'll see you in September. So I'll change. She's getting it for Christmas next year. For, or for the Christmas this year. But I would like to have this done before. I would like to have this done by the end of the year. I think I can do that. It's really not that complicated. The hardest part is going to be this flower. That's not that bad. And I really think I'm going to do the flower one month. Everything else in the box another month. So. And then I'll just be doing dice rolls for... The foreseeable future for for the um, remainder of my rotation. Yes, that is what I wanted to say. I have no plans to start anything new at this point um, because what I have planned to start new I have on a time frame. There are a couple things that I do have kitted. There's at least one thing I have kitted that I want to get started sometime this year. And I may possibly pull threads for her. But that's it. We're done for the week. I've got lots of editing to do to get this up by Wednesday. And then we're going to... Are you going to keep it in that face? You betcha. Because I'm hoping that's the screen shot. <laughs> I have you lost want... everywhere to put away. Hey, you want to do it at the same time? That's our screen grab. <laughs> Can you tell it what to put in there? Um, you can to some degree. So we're gonna say goodbye though, and we're gonna film the dice roll that you will see next week for finishing to the season. I hope that made no sense to you. We <laughs> getting ready to say goodbye, and the phone decides it runs out of memory space. That's why it was freezing because it was running out. Of <laughs> this this episode is brought to you in part by Squirrel. I feel very squirrel today. It's been a horrible day. No, I feel more like a bear. I just want to go hibernate. Cat, please stop blocking me in like the areas hibernate. with your tail. All right. Well, so this is literally gonna be like a thirty-second clip clip of us saying goodbye. Bye. Um. So yeah, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, leave a comment, tell us how crazy we are. Um, I have a question. My next project after I'm done with the, um... The gift. With the gift is either going to be dragons or kitty cats. Which should I do? Dragons or kitty cats? He wants to know. What yep. do you guys think? There is an appreciated dragon day in the month of January. Just saying. But cats are always cool. Cats are amazing. Especially when you find the pattern in a bathroom. True story. Actually, it is. It is. Most cross-stitch stores have patterns and have finished projects in their bathroom. Okay, so. Like the channel. We already did that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. If you feel inclined, follow me on Instagram. He does an Instagram. Um, you can follow my Facebook page with all of my stitching supplies when I never actually get stuff posted. I know. I haven't yet. I need to. Not a long story. Get on it. Yeah, I know. Um, make me a millionaire. People make me a millionaire. Long day. Okay, we're going to go by now. I'm going to go by now because go I'm just Sleep. talking and <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Bye. I'm going to go stitch. Bye.